time and place, who was leading the charge, you often got just one answer. She's doing a marvelous job here. That Mrs. Fox. Professor Fox, all the credit goes to Miss Fox. Hey, there she go right there, my lady. Where? Well, welcome to our block. It's been 44 years that I've been here, yeah. and I'm very happy that you came today. Miss Hetty Fox was a local celebrity in the South Bronx. She worked tirelessly to plant seeds of change in her neighborhood, renovating buildings and giving children a safe place to play and learn. We first met Hetty 40 years ago during a CBS2 community series called On Our Block. We recently reshared her episode of the series right here on our streaming channel, CBS News New York, and went back to that very block to check in on her legacy. And while she passed away in 2019, we found her spirit to be very much still alive. Bronx Community Report Shosh Bedrosian takes us to Prospect Ave and Jennings Street, where local leaders are picking up where Miss Hetty left off. There are people that pick us up in life when we fall down, encourage us to reach for the stars. You can also be the doctor, you can also be the lawyer, you can be the agent. And help us take every shot, even if we don't succeed. And sanitize it. You got it? And there's one woman on Jennings Street making it her greatest mission to turn all of this into a reality. Miss Lonnie is everything. She, she took up where Miss Fox left off. I would say Miss Lonnie is the reincarnated soul of Miss Fox. I like her kindness, personality. Miss Lonnie retired from her banking job and created Caldwell Enrichment Programs in 2014, giving local kids a safe space to play and learn after school. We don't want the children to be uneducated. We don't want the children to be culturally um, stagnant, if you would. We want the children to be able to embrace life, and they can't embrace life if they're not happy. She's picking up the baton Miss Fox once held in her hand to better this community in a place that might not have all of the resources to make it happen. Besides the kids going to school, there's no, nothing else for them to learn in these communities. But the power of Miss Fox's mission touched Miss Lonnie in her own life and others on this block. What she did with Lyman Place exponentially created what we have today. She was doing a Christmas and I had gotten me and my sister, I got a football and she got um, a baby outfit. The program is for all kids on the block to hang out for a snack, play a quick pickup game or creative activity. The art and like the bracelets. Yeah, that's my favorite thing. Miss Lonnie says in her nine years of working on the program, she believes there's been a decrease in violence around the neighborhood. I see that we're not having to dodge bullets and we're not having to stop fights. That's for me the accomplishment. Maybe the ones that we oftentimes pick up are the ones who lift us. What do they mean to you? A lot. They help me. They keep me going. They just don't know it. The smiles. That's what brings me joy. And I'm going to cry in a minute. So don't do that to me. But just seeing them smile and laugh, that's what kids need. They need a childhood. In Cretona Park, the Bronx, Shosh Pedrosia. CBS 2 News. We revisit our CBS 2 archive footage like Hetty Fox's story from the 80s in a series called A Look Back. To see more episodes, visit CBSNewYork.com and click on A Look Back.